Anchor, We're going anchor, live, listen. fellas. We're going live. Uh, our camera guys are ready. I hope you have your big girl panties on because <laughs> we're here and we're live from the Big Daddy Gun Studio. Myself, Hank Strange, and we have, of course, Walter Keller from Safety Harbor Firearms. Chill we on. also have Steve. We also have Steve and Brian from 904 Outdoors. There you go. Where are those guys? We're here. Uh, we're here. I don't think the video is working. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, yeah. Oh, I see you. I see yeah, you. I see, yeah, we see you. Cool. Yeah. So we are going to be talking about lots of things. We're calling this fire and fury. We're going to talk fire. a little bit about Trump and North Korea and uh, whatever else comes to mind. I've been hanging out with the 904 guys all day. What have we been up to, guys? Oh, you poor, you, 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 you. you. <laughs> not really all day, not really you all day. Work? Oh, you had to put them yeah. work. I'm lying. I did go to get a haircut. Uh, again? And I left them out in the heat making gun videos. Yeah, oh, that's right, man. You, you, know, you didn't, oh, well, what happened? What? I don't know. Oh, no, I mean, the 904 was going in and out on me. Yeah, I don't know if they're freezing. They may have to drop out and come back in. We'll see. You didn't, we'll even, see you didn't, even, you didn't even leave enough hair to do anything in your hair. <laughs> no, I didn't have time to put any uh, designs or anything like that, so there's no like, design. Is that like Razor? We're going to go out and come back in, guys. Yeah, yeah. they're going to uh, – 904 is going to – We'll be right back. Yeah, they're going to come right back in. Don't know what's going on with their um, – I'm here. That's all, man. Yeah, you know. yeah absolutely. So, you know, everyone out there that's listening, thanks for joining us. Everyone that's watching, yes. thanks for joining us. Um, don't forget to share – this broadcast with your friends on social media. Don't forget to hit that like button. That's all good stuff. We need that while we're one of the things I was doing today while I was I was actually making a video. What are you testing? This, of the, well, we did a video for this scope. We, we've been testing this over the last year. We've been testing this uh, primary arms 22 LR ACSS reticle here, and we've got a video coming up. And the cool thing is we made a deal with primary arms so that if you buy this through a link that we have, you will get free shipping plus a mount for this optic. And oh, that's wow. actually in the description of this video. So that's why I want to talk to folks about that early. So if you're interested in getting one of these, pretty cool 22 optic with the ACSS in there so you can see that. Excellent. You know, a few weeks ago, we had Dimitri from Primary Arms. He designs these optic these um these optics and we're going to do a few more of the primary arms optics other than the 22 we're going to do a few more of them and we and you'll get the same deal well, that you'll be able to get it so okay 904 guys are you back what's going on uh, yeah. we're back but it's still not working i don't think oh okay yeah so i'll uh, yeah, um, this camera and just run the yeah let me uh lola you got to go check on the 904 guys they're actually in the they're in the same they're in the same building as us so i'm not sure what's going on with their things hey boys oh my son's here come we can do this we're live but if you guys want to see my my sons my uh my boys are here in the studio they're both in the but, same building yeah this is this is live so is check this out this is Yay! angst this is angst Strange right here, and Angst is his real name. There he goes. That's my oldest son. Thanks. You know, you can see he got all his beautiness. His beautiosity came from me. I can see. I, you know, I say it, it looks like Lola. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, say and they just got haircuts too. <laughs> and this is my this is my younger son here, and this is Falcon Strange. And yeah, <laughs> that is his <laughs> real name. This year, by switched, the way. Switched to this camera. Yeah, we switched yeah. to the front camera. Yeah. So his real name is Falcon Strange. There he goes. Say what's up to the people out there in the internet world. <laughs> so there you go. So okay, the nine oh four guys are obviously this is this is like this is gonna be fun, Walter. <laughs> well can you can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you guys. We hear okay. so we're just gonna use the camera on the computer, like as the on the laptop. Okay, it's that's fine. Works. It works. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. good. Yeah. Adios. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm see that's I'm why I'm low pro with this now. Huh? I said I'm like an old pro at this now. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I we know. Right? Problems. Walter doesn't have any problems. I know. I, I yeah. tell you what did help though was some proper equipment though. That did help. Yeah. Well, we're doing all this like at the last minute here, so impromptu. Yeah, it was um basically well, why don't you guys say what you guys were up to all day? What what uh, up to? Yeah, nine oh four. Nine oh four. Let's start oh, with nine oh four go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a lot of filming. We got, uh, what, five, six videos done today? Yeah, five, six different videos. Of course, we had to run Walter's, uh, Walter's butt stock for him. Oh, 
Yeah, the KES stock. The KES stock, yes. Yeah. Compact yeah, so, entry stock from uh, Safety Arbor Fire. Yeah, so let's show folks that. Throw that off the thing. Is so what gun is this that you have? The So basically the stock is from uh, Safety Harbor Firearms. Yes, this is a, uh, you can't see the logo in there, but the logo is in there. Yeah. The KES compact entry stock system. Uh, I love the fact that it kind of eliminates your, uh, really the weak spot on an AR-15 because the, uh, the buffer system. Mm-hmm. Probably break that off pretty easily, but this you can't. So we, uh, yeah, this is the our Franklin Armory binary firing system Gen 3 rifle. We've done a couple mods to it, and uh, it worked almost flawlessly today. Yeah, we had it was mostly hiccups with just crap ammo, ammo, tool ammo. It's hard to tool ammo. Yeah, you guys were trying to shoot um, stainless, uh, not stainless steel, steel case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stainless steel on there. Uh, <laughs> what's that, Walter? I said, what was the optic he has on that? Uh, it's a Hollow Sun HS four three A on this one. Yeah. yeah, I gotta get some of those. Yeah, so that's the Hollow Sun that has the um, that has the solar panel on it, right? No, no, yeah. this one's not solar. The five hundred three C that we have on the other rifle is solar. Oh, that's the other. Okay. Yeah, this is the fifty thousand hour battery life CR twenty thirty two battery, uh, lower one third co witness riser, all that good stuff. Okay, but it, gonna try that thing on a fifty cal. Down. Yeah. Very cool. That's very cool. So you guys did some other videos. You're saying some of these videos are secret? <laughs> lightly uh, lightly yeah. classified. Yeah. That's That's kind of kind of like that. Wait for it. Yeah. We we got, got, Black Ops. Black Ops, yeah. <laughs> we got some new, pistols, some new pistols that we tried out, and they're, uh, we had a few issues. Yep. So, a few issues with, with the pistol that we just got, but we actually have another one on the way. Yeah. Okay. It wouldn't happen to be a um, oh Walter's Walter's throwing up. Look, you're you're drinking, huh, Walter? What? Stella. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I just felt like it. This is number two, so it'll uh -oh. only get better from here. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rich people drink that. Yeah. If Walter oh, gets really? frisky oh. tonight, you know, now you guys know why. When you go to England, Stella's everywhere in England. It's like the common one of the common drinks, <laughs> beers. So you know. Right. Oh, okay. Rich yeah, people. so this is gonna this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Walter's already Walter's already getting uh, topped off there. <laughs> so you guys, um, you know, now I, are any of these videos gonna come out? Because I I wasn't there for the shooting because I went to get my hair cut and these guys were on the uh, they were on the range on the hacienda. So there's gonna be some hijinks. I hope you were, I hope you weren't messing with my goats. No, no, no dead goats are there. That's what I was. Gonna <laughs> You didn't have like a goat barbecue while Hank wasn't around. Yeah. I haven't had, uh, yeah, I haven't had a chance to count. When I got back, I didn't count all the goats. I didn't see all of them. <laughs> so goats for another in the yard. We had to, we had to lock the dog out. So he yeah, Sailor. Yeah, yeah, Sailor likes to shoot. So what's this you got, Walter? Oh my god! I got well, today came in the mail. Uh oh, that's a hot eight round 1911 mag. Okay, a drum. And I gotta pick up the all you gotta do to make a 1911 mag work in a high point is get a different mag catch. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a there's a place that makes a mag catch that works, and supposedly it feeds all right. So this is gonna be part of the doc the dark ops high point. When wow. I, <laughs> okay, that's gonna be I'm, crazy. I've got a, I've got a plan for it. I'm not gonna say anything on the interweb because it seems like things get copied a lot on the internet. Yeah, they do. Like we might copy you. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, I know where you guys live, so I take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a dark op. But 904 is going to sneak back onto the range tonight and do that video before you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, my son has actually kind of figured out how to do a, a full auto version of Ooh. Oh, that'd be awesome. Remember yeah. what I said about the barrel, Walter? Oh, okay. yeah. That barrel's attached to the, uh, the frame of the gun. It doesn't separate, so if you burn out that barrel with full auto fire, it's just, it's just gonna be worthless. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah it's there. pretty close to that right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs so, rifling anyways, right? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you can just spray dark ops, it's close up, so it doesn't matter. No. Yeah, that's true. No. Anyways, now this is cool. It came today from Korea, which hopefully they, they continue to flow from Korea. We don't have yeah, a that came directly arms. from Korea. Please, let's get all those M1 Garands and M1 carbines from Korea before all hell breaks loose. <laughs> yeah, because I want I want one of those. Or I don't want to see them get South again, you know. 
So, yeah. so um, let's, you know, let's jump from that right into this. Um, I guess, you know, North Korea has been continuing their testing, continuing their threats. And uh, President Trump, you know, had enough today, right? Or was, was this today or yesterday that he... Uh, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday he says, fire and fury is coming fury at you. Fire. Yeah. And then it, everyone's all up in, you know, everyone's all up in arms now. Everyone's all, you know, all the snowflakes are scared because like, oh, man, this guy has the nuclear codes. Oh, He's hang on a second. You know, if, if you're going to be scared, if a snowflake is scared, they should move to Seoul, South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> really you ain't going to, don't worry it. You ain't got nothing to worry about here in the in the continuous 40, uh, 48 states. Nothing at all. Um, move the soul if you want to be worried. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Those people got to be a little bit, you know, a little bit on edge, I think. So. Well, well, consider this. I was talking about this the other day, and I went and look, looked it up. Um, the Winter Olympics in 2018 <laughs> is in South Korea. Yeah. It's a soul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's in Pyeongchang or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> you know, well, Winter Olympics. I, I Do you think that's maybe why they're acting up? They're like, yeah, they're not going to do anything to us. The Winter Olympics is going to be here. <laughs> so is that going to be the yeah. nuclear Winter Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's coming, you know. <laughs> Could, I be. I did, Could be. I did, I did see a Facebook post today that was something about on the order of Nuclear weapons haven't been used in seventy-four years, or something like yeah. that. And I'm like, yes, all "What are you trying to say, Trigger? You know, I mean, what are you? What's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Getting close to that date to try them out again. Listen, um, so what do you guys think? What What do you um, What do you guys think that Trump should do here, or what do you think is going to happen? You think we're going to get boots on the ground? We're going to bomb them? What do you think is going to happen? Or do you think mm. they're just going to back down? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. No back him down this time, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they'll back down. Yeah, I think, I think they're beyond I think that. Stand his ground, though. Say that again? I think Trump needs to stand his ground. I mean, he doesn't need to. Yeah. He needs to show that America is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think he said, like, if they keep making threats, then they're going to get the fire and the fury. So, yeah. like, you know, the fire and the fury. Oh, is, is that – hopefully it's not like an Obama red line in the sand, you know? Yeah, see, that's the thing. <laughs> Because you know they're not gonna just like oh maybe we should just stop talking now they're gonna keep talking. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna. Yeah. He, that's that's their that's their modus operandi is just to keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because in, they're in the past, in the past, whenever they've done that, we've always given them money. Yeah. yeah. Well, so here's what I here's like I had this vision, and this is what I would like to see. <laughs> you know, so one day they're they're their um, test sites wheeling out a rocket. You know, and they're all standing around getting ready to launch this rocket, and we get the video <laughs> from some Moabs or something going in and just bombing the living crap out of them. <laughs> or, <laughs> or do like a like a virus thing and hack into their their rocket guidance system and just detonate it on the launch pad. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. <laughs> Let's, you know, let's really like put a stop to those guys because, um, you know, I, I mean, we're, we're joking around, but these, but you know, this, these guys want to be a serious threat, you know. But they're this big. The country is this big. Yeah. Right I now, know, everyone, I, in, everyone in Guam is on alert. Oh, yeah. I know, some, I, I know somebody there, actually. You do? Okay. Yeah. A friend of ours, uh, um, son is working over there. Yeah. So, Guam's yeah. a cool place. Wow. Yeah, and um, I saw a bunch of memes on the social media where people took maps of like our West Coast and outlined California, <laughs> and then put Guam <laughs> <laughs> inside, you know. And they're like, "Hey, North Korea, this is where th we move Guam to, right here." <laughs> you know, uh, Governor Jerry Brown's house, right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you know, because um, you know California's like. I don't, I don't think they're gearing up to. I don't think they're gearing up to attack South Korea. I mean, South Koreans, I don't think, really have a whole lot to fear from North Korea because they're building long-distance rockets, intercontinental ballistic missiles. They're planning on leaving that continent with a missile and aiming it somewhere else. It's long distance. So. Well, supposedly they have a 1,000 missiles aimed towards South Korea. Uh, oh, well, short, yeah. short, short range missiles. So sure. um, if something's going to go down, it's got to go down kind of... To those first. Well, well, across the board. You can't do just... Yeah. Yeah, but it's got to be a complete surprise. 
it's got to be shock and awe on um on the best steroids you can get so yeah basically they need to wake up to um you know they just need to wake up in hell <laughs> getting you know <laughs> raped in the butt <laughs> by some demons like what the hell happened <laughs> Oh, we just, you know, we just got the crap bombed out of us. We maybe we shouldn't have been talking all that smack, <laughs> all that shit, yeah. um, <laughs> all that Korean shit, kimchi shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, let's see here. Somebody was saying, let me see, such as steel. Oh, the Tyvin show. Hank, we need to give North Korea Moab for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah that's the best idea in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're really begging for it. I mean, you know, uh, well, I don't think we have much of a chance of there being any kind of like coup going on there. Uh, It'd be nice if we do see something like that. That would be too easy. Yeah. Now, um, maybe get one of those old generals with about a hundred medals on his thing. You know, mm -hmm. they wear those coats. They have a hundred medals. Like they've been in a hundred wars. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, maybe one of those old dudes could take over, you know? Yeah, someone wants to see you. I'm trying to see who said it, but like, there's a whole, there's like a bunch of comments going through this thing. Someone yeah. wants to see you put an RMR on the high point. That would be cool. RMR. Yeah, RMR. yeah Walter. I don't know. It's, it, oh. yeah, just a little, the little tiny, you know, oh, the little sight. Yeah, yeah, a little Trigicon optic. Yeah, well, I've i we were I've talked about. I think we, I was thinking about either putting the Picatinny across the top. Or I've seen it. I see where somebody else machined a Picatinny rail in the back. I mean, we, we can get you a scope. You know, I mean, this is twenty-two, but you know, I don't need like a five to twenty-two. You know, no, man. Dollars. Yes, you do. Put a big scope on there. What Shit. you need a little baby RMR for? All the way to Korea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Exactly. Kim Jong, I'm coming for you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, just duct tape you one on there. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's tape. just a hot point. Duct tape works the best. Maybe I can make like a duct tape shoulder stock. That'll work. <laughs> I'm giving away all my ideas again here. So yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, kids out there, pay attention. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. I was gonna yeah, say so Razor J B says it all comes down to China, which you know, that's China is really a thing right there. Like China at Chinese some point. Is, the Chinese have already and the Russians both in the UN of of uh are, are back in the sanctions, so they've kind of thrown their hands up. I don't. I don't think the Chinese want to lose all the Walmart shoppers. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Listen. You know without what? Them, without the Americans buying all the Chinese shit, their economy collapses. Oh yeah. Mark my word. <laughs> um, I think even with all the Americans doing that, their uh, economy is not going to be able to keep going forever like this. Well, the Chinese economy yeah. is falsely propped up anyway. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's some indications that even the American economy is going in the direction that was going. What was that like? 2008? Uh, well, the stock, market, the stock yeah. market's going nuts. Yeah. yeah. That stock um, market crash we had, you know, we might be heading back for one of those. Got well, a lot of different there, things there, to there, indicate that. Yeah. There will be a correction at some point. Yeah. But our economy is more robust than the Chinese. Um, trust me. Well, they, yeah. got, they got they got they got tens of millions of people to feed in the cities that are working in those plants that make yeah. those nice little iPhones and all that. And if they're not making those iPhones or if we're not importing those iPhones, shit will hit the fan. There won't be enough rice to feed those little <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, people. Yeah, eight oh eight oh three salad shooter says of North Korea, blow up all their shit and build this new world on the rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just say, you know, blow the shit up, just give it to the South. Yeah. They'll fix it. Yeah. yeah. Just well, they got to wait till the radiation levels go down. Yeah. I mean, I just, really, I just, you, you I just, I just want to be in on all the surplus weapons. That's all I want to be in. That's okay. All I so, so first you want all the surplus weapons to come out of there. Well, I want to be the person handling the surplus weapons. Yes. <laughs> well, good. Then you can just give us a few of them. We'll take about 20,000. Parts kits. All I'm asking for is parts kits. Come on. That's all I need. <laughs> oh. So, by the way, Jay Hike said he just picked up the scope. I don't know if you heard all of this. I don't know if the 904 guys heard this or you heard it, Walter. Go for we, it. Uh, 904 is in the video that I did of this primary arms 6x22 uh, LR scope with ACSS. Okay. And we were working on a video today. And in that video, we worked out a deal with primary arms where there's a link. And if anyone buys it through that link, they get free shipping and they get a free mount. So Excellent. what I did with the video is going to, you know, obviously I've got to edit that video and throw it up. But guess what? I put the link in the description of this video. 
Ooh. Oh, cool. So, yeah, Jay Hive looks like he already went and picked him up one. So, thank you. Oh, cool. You know, going there, you know. Well, I've got, I've got a, more deals like that coming with uh, Primary Arms, so we'll get we'll get some stuff up. You know, we'll get those up for you guys. I've got a neat um, Russian um, twenty-two that I bought um, not this year, but the year before at the Shot Show, which has a toggle, a toggle lock, mm -hmm. um, kind of like what you see with the um, uh, the guys that ski and shoot at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, I remember that from a James Bond movie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just. I don't really know. <laughs> no, that's a competition, right? Is that going to be in the Winter Olympics in South Korea? What? <laughs> the, and they're going to the have like, they're going to have like a Kim Jong thing over here and a this one over there, and you go. Yeah, uh, the no. Tyvin show, by the way, Tyvin show says we need to give North Korea Moab for Christmas. Uh. For sure. Yeah. Bouncing on open fire. I, I'm pretty sure that North Korea is going to come out with um with some. They're gonna they're gonna come back with some more threats. Um, so, yeah, it's not over see. with yet. Yeah, because it's yeah. all about it's all about um, doing this on the chest. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. So um. So here we hold on a second. So Robert McNeely wants to know if it's just this scope. So the link that I have here is just for this one. Uh, we're gonna do other scopes, and then there's gonna be other links. So they has to be individual links. So I'll do I'll do other scopes, and maybe even I'll just bring all the ones that we're set up to do and do them in upcoming videos and let you guys know what the link because there's no you know there's no like start doing it you can do it right now it's all set up right now so maybe i'll just bring those in while we're working on it so you guys don't have to wait so anyone who's watching the live show um you don't you don't have to do it so what what was that lola there is what other link in that other video you published? Yeah. Oh, there is a link. Um, so if you look, we did a video with the uh, Caltech RDB recently. And in that video, there is a three by magnifier from Primary Arms. Okay. So if you look in that at that video, there's a link in there for that three by magnifier. And you can get the magnifier, uh, free shipping uh, with the mount and all that kind of stuff. So that's in the, there's an RDB video that we put up. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So there should be a link in that one as well for anyone who's looking for a magnifier. I'll try to get these up as quickly as I can because I know guys out there are getting optics and stuff like that. So I'll the probably I, just bring them in when I do the shows and and uh, talk about it. The reason I brought up that the reason I brought that Russian rifle up is I don't have a scope on it. So okay, yeah, man. So you know, so you can get you a you know this we we use this like I shot this on uh, as twenty two LR. But I did shoot it on a 22 Magnum, but you know the bullet drop compensation, all that stuff is set up for 22 LR. But it worked fine on a 22 Magnum for me. And uh, we also used it on uh, we did. I'm trying to remember what. Oh, on a Ruger 1022 takedown video that I did, we used this. So we've used it on a few things. Um, right now, Babyface has it on one of his guns. Yeah. What was that? I have a takedown also. So. Yeah. It's fitting. So. Yeah, so there you go, Walter. You can, yeah. you know. I have yeah. some uh, I have some things we could try it out on. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Get you a couple. <laughs> we'll see. Get you a hey, couple when you go in there. Yeah. You know? I, I was just looking on the firearms blog, and Babyface was asking me this afternoon about modular silencers or suppressors. Mm -hmm. And I says here that ATF to decide on modular silencers. So I guess because, you know, the parts all unscrew. Yeah. What, what, Part, how many parts are supposed? To, are, are all the parts supposed to be serialized and numbered? And how does that work? I mean, I don't yeah. Know. So they're going to decide that. Hmm. That's what it's saying. Yeah. So yeah. Which direction you think they're going to go on that? Oh <laughs> they're gonna tax dear. Every little part. Yeah, they're going to tax stamp the four pieces. No. <laughs> four people, yeah. Because yeah. I don't no. think you know Trump hasn't changed anyone at ATF yet, right? They haven't yeah. assigned any new people oh, over there yet, have they? Not that I know of. Yeah. But yeah, I don't. I mean, that should be like the first thing. Get rid of those dudes that are in there, right? You know. So, all of them. Yeah, I mean, uh, just. I mean, why do we even need the ATF? Do I just, should I even start this conversation? All well, it's well, well, it's basically a, it's supposed to be like a tax. They collect taxes, right? On alcohol, like for, you yeah. know, and then you know, like like a like a tax stamp on a bar is like same thing you get on a on a suppressor or something. You know, you can do you can do business because you have a tax stamp. Yeah, taxation without representation is what we're getting all over right yeah, there. Welcome to the modern world. Yeah. They're saying um, we need a lot of tea to dump in a harbor somewhere. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Maybe we could do that and prank and put in the harbor in uh, North Korea there. We could dump some tea on their ass. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's now 50. Uh, it's B, a B, uh, B52. That's what I'm yeah, so check this out. 50 Stitches Steel wants to know if Big Daddy Guns is my store. Um, I wish. It was my, <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was my, was my store. Well. And, uh, um, you know, no? It's our no, store. I, oh, 904 is throwing yeah. up. Go ahead. Throw that up. Go Throw it up again, 904. What's that? Big yeah. Daddy Gun. The 904 guys were over there hanging out with the store with me. Uh, no, it's not my store. I have had the owner of the store on here briefly, Tony. I'm going to get him to come on and do an interview and everything. Really cool guy. Um, you know, I mean, real Second Amendment guy. He's into survivalists. All kinds. They have all kinds of cool stuff going on. Um, they're like my family. Everyone that works there and all that, they look out for us. They do, you know, they do a lot of stuff to help us out here. I don't own the store. I do... Um, you know, yeah, I do actually work for them because, you know, this is what we're doing here. We're talking right. like every time we do one of these shows, we're saying Big Daddy Guns. So I do work for them and I try to let people know when I'm working for, you know, for someone. So I am working for Big Daddy Guns, but I'm not I'm in there. I'm in and out of there all the time. So if you want to come down to Gainesville and check out Big Daddy Guns, if I'm not in there and you ask them where I'm at, they'll just get in touch with me and I'll come by and hang out with you. Oh, but I do man. a lot of their social media and stuff like that helping them out since they're helping us out with the space and the internet and all kinds of stuff. This guns. <laughs> oh, Hey, uh, well, you know, this afternoon, nine Oh four was saying something about shooting ammo and, and having to shoot their own. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to post a little, I'm cleaning a bunch of brass right now. And some of that brass you probably shot. So, uh -huh. um, um, cause I've got a pile of brass. I need to try to get ready to reload. So I'm going to post something on Instagram just for you guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> so you getting ready to reload? How many? Maybe. I have components. Maybe. I actually have a, um, I have a, uh, a multi-station press that one of my employees brought in and I have a lot of brass. So well, I should, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I'm prepping cases and cleaning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. While, while you're at it, load us the rest of us up some ammo, please. <laughs> yeah, I probably got. We'll take some too. Hey, yeah, just, I'll take a couple thousand rounds. I just sent you five dollars for ammo, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to shoot some more your ammo. That that money has not been transferred to Walter yet. <laughs> <laughs> keep that to Hacienda. Keep it keep it up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. posting something around, so you know, if I look I'm looking like I'm looking at something, it's I'm I'm. Okay. That's, what, that's what I'm doing, but I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes. So what else do you 904 guys have going on? Uh, we're actually getting, since you were talking about primary optics, uh, primary arms optics, we're actually getting, uh, hopefully getting one soon. Um, we've been in the okay, cool. Oh, with them. Some, somebody's Sorry. getting a phone call. Sorry. That was Whoa. me. <laughs> yeah. Pe Peggy was telling me the food's here. <laughs> <laughs> So should we should we cover the 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 whole SIG debacle? It's not getting any better apparently. You know you want to. Yeah, I know Walter. You were upset now because you're saying everyone's piling on to SIG, right? Well, I mean, you know, it's it's an opportunity to, to get some FaceTime, so to speak. You know, hey, look yeah. what I did. You know, SIG sucks. Well, okay, yeah. so what? <laughs> I did notice the first thing you see on Google when you type in SIG or SIG P320 is so many negative things about how horrible they are. And now. all the little memes and the jokes and the, yeah, yeah. it's like, yep. okay, you know, I get it. But okay. get a, get a, after a while, you're going to have to say, get a life, get back to, what are you doing really besides beating up on SIG? You know, that's my thing. Yeah. So. They're nice guns. I mean, I've, I've held them. I haven't shot any of them, but they're, it's a comfortable feeling gun. And uh, I know people talk about the Boraxes. It's kind of weird on it compared to like a Glock. But it seems like a nice gun. Uh, just don't drop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. It seems, fix like, the problem. It seems like they obviously yeah. knew something was going on because they said that the ones that for the military, the MH17s, um, don't have this problem or they've, it's already been dealt with. Well, that means they knew that was happening and they were manufacturing. And I think in the news it said that they've stopped manufacturing right now along with, um, you know, uh, giving people the option to upgrade what's going on. I think that, you know, they are out there trying, you know, trying to deal with this situation and, uh, 
you got to be real, Corrected, real, real so. careful what you say mm -hmm. in our in our litigious society we live in. Mm -hmm. Because if you acknowledge the fact you knew there was a problem, and yeah. then for some reason you accidentally shoot your goat, <laughs> and somebody's going to sue Sig for $100 million because their pet goat died. And they're going to win. Oh. Yeah, they'll win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mil military guys don't matter. They can't sue anybody, but uh, they could shoot an ISIS guy's goat. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you have to be careful how you say things because, like with the cigarette industry, they basically acknowledged in in memos that their their stuff was bad, and yeah. that's what that's what sunk their boat. So, you know. yeah. Uh, someone said uh, Razor JB says I thought Walter's ringtone would be some techno booty shaking music. <laughs> of course, no, it's dead. Yeah. I'm I'm half deaf uh, there, Razor JB. So yeah. I gotta have some loud shit, or I don't hear. Yeah. It, so. so now he's also asking us if we saw Patrick R's video, which Patrick R had a um, video, and then I guess the Yankee Marshals calling him out because in in Patrick R's video he's uh, banging on the back of the P320 with a hammer. Yep. But he hit uh, it like multiple times in that video. Yeah, I think he yeah he hit it like it looks like he hit it like three four times or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he was getting, you know, he was getting primer strikes, and then I think he actually did one where he had a, a live round in there. My favorite is you can go to SIG's website for the P320 and scroll down and read everything that they've advertised the SIG P320 as, you know, modular design, excellent with safety. You don't need a trigger lock on your trigger to be drop safe anymore. Mm -hmm. It actually says that on their website. So it's, uh, it's pretty interesting that they advertise it as that. Yeah, like you know, on the Glock, you got the little dingus. You know? Oh, right, 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 right. Dingus. Well, little dingus. They yeah. say you don't need that for it to be dropped. You, know, you notice Glock ain't got rid of that. No, they haven't. Nope. And 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 the Springfield Armory XD has that also, if I'm not mistaken. Um, those are weird to shoot. Yeah, those things have like 10 million safeties on. Them. <laughs> right, right, right. And and there's a reason for that. Once again, because of our litigious society. Um, yeah, they got to make everything idiot proof. Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So do you guys do you guys think this story is going to simmer down or keep getting yeah, it'll hot? It'll go away. It'll go away. Okay. Yeah. The yeah, new cycle the, the new cycle is this, you know, give them a week and boom. Sig what? Yeah. Something else will come up and they'll be they'll jump all over that. Right. Yeah, I think in the gun world it might simmer down if some other stuff comes out in the gun world um what might Sig happen is it might it might kick up again if this actually gets to mainstream news because right now this isn't no one no one in mainstream news is covering it yet. Yeah, it's not it's not a story for mainstream news. Actually, CNN does or uh, CNBC does have a thing on it on if you type it in on Google. Oh, they do. But that's that's not like they're, they're not like reporting on it live with yeah. live with with Joe Blow in front of his gun <laughs> here. You know, I think now. Yeah. So here's a couple things. People want to know, is it the trigger, which I think they're replacing the trigger because yeah. the trigger is heavier. So I think it's definitely the trigger. And then um, also uh, people want to know uh, who's going to pay for shipping, transfer fees, and all that. And I think in a case like this. There is no, there is no transfer fee on a, on a warranty item. Yes. Yeah, there's no transfer. Sure. There's, no dealer, there's no dealers involved on warranty item. It goes directly back to the manufacturer and directly back to the customer. That's it. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's, yeah, that's how pretty much how it works. You send something, um, you send something back like that, and then they're going to send it back directly to you. Right back to you. Yep. Unless you yeah. live in some place where it requires that it go through a dealer, but. Yeah. And you usually have to sign for that when it comes back, right? That's well, it. That's, that's a wise move because, you know, yeah. trust me, in our, in my business, when you send something to somebody and it gets left on their front porch, no telling what happens. Yeah. <laughs> There's been. And stuff signed for and I didn't sign for it. You know, I don't know what happened to it. And it's like, oh, I yeah. want some help for that KES stock. Yeah, <laughs> Mister um, Mister Some Guns says that um, there were also problems with the Beretta M9 when it came into service, which is true, right? Uh, you know, they had some uh, issues way back what, when the internet like, didn't they really had, they had cause frames, trouble they, back then. They had frames cracking and stuff like that. They had some issues with that. That was with a lot. Of, that's after firing, firing a lot of rounds. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I know I they, they uh, a lot of military guys didn't like them because they're going from the 45 ACP to the 9 millimeter. Yeah. Even though it's more capacity, they just like the bigger knockdown power. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Knockdown power. Knockdown yeah. Knockdown yeah. Power. Um, and so, uh, so Tyvon Cho says that Glock posted today, don't drop your SIG. Oh, here Pick goes. Pick up a Glock first. 
Man, that was that was uh, like I took the news out of that one. That, that's just like uh, let's stick uh, it in, twist it oh, around, shake so, it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, guess what? You, we don't. You, it's basically, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're probably still mad that they didn't get the contract. Right. I don't really understand it, but I think I don't think anything's going to happen. Um, you know, I don't think that anything's going to happen with that contract. But there's going to definitely probably there's going to be some lawsuits. I don't know if there's going to be clash act, class action stuff going on. But that's why Walter was saying that they have to be careful right now with admitting guilt because then there's definitely then they're just we're just going to go they, straight to class action. Was a, if they knew there was a problem and they sold a defective gun. Uh, that's bad juju, Buana. You know, yeah. it's just, <laughs> especially if you have a chance of dropping it out of your holster and shooting yourself in the leg. Yeah. You know? All right. All right. Or you know, who? It's like one of those comedic things that falls down the stairs and it shoots. You know, pow, 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 pow. I'm surprised nobody hasn't done that yet. <laughs> <laughs> we need to test that. There's gonna be memes. There's gonna be memes. You, you need to. You need to be. The people need to be careful about doing that stuff too. They can get sued by Sig. So. What for doing memes? Yeah. For being, um, you know, uh, but joking around. Is it okay. a joke? It's probably sure. true. <laughs> I don't know, but guess what? I think that gun companies, uh, and especially Sig, has a lot more to worry about than to start suing people. Well, yeah, <laughs> no, they yeah. they got to take it, it. Like I said, they'll they'll issue a recall, and they'll do all the legal stuff they need to do, and it'll 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 fade into in obscurity. Yeah, at this point though, they haven't officially gone to recall or anything well, like that, okay. so. Voluntary. Yeah, it's like voluntary. Yeah. They're trying to probably figure out what's really going on. You know, remember the Toyotas that took off by themselves? Yeah, they said it was the floor man. And, they, and you know wrong. what? Ne yeah, they could never, good. that was never proven to, to happen. And they say a lot of times that was people's um, car mats that did that. Yeah, it was. But yeah. but instead of tell, instead of saying these people were idiots, Toyota just sucked it up. And, and acted like, and, you know, but it was never proven scientifically there be any problem with the car. So, and Toyotas are still some of the, the best vehicles made in the world, too. Well, yeah, I mean, people still buy the shitload of them. So it's like, you know, but do you hear about that anymore? Nope. It went away because the next thing came on. Oh, so yeah. We're on to something we else. You know? Being in the automotive industry. We're in the industry, so, yeah, we still talk about we it. We joke about it all the time in the shop, but it's not we talk about that we still talk about the firestone tires that blew up right. you know, firestone well, tires. It, it was back in the 80s <laughs> yeah. they talk about yep. the 7, 721 firestones that was the uh the wilderness uh wilderness at yeah the wilderness at no it was the wilderness at at i think oh, it was I think standard this, was 80s. this was before that i think early 80s that firestone had a tire that had issues too um, well, they, yeah yeah we we kind of work for firestone so i mean it's it's kind of Firestone's always had their issues with tires, but they're usually higher quality than almost anything else on the market. I mean, Michelin's, the sidewalls go out on them. You've got a... Uh, okay. Good good. Good. No, no, wait a minute now. I like the Michelin tire. No, Michelin's right great. They, they ride great. The, the tread wear lasts forever, but the sidewalls crack after a while and they start splitting yeah, apart yeah. five to six years. Yeah. And then you're buying another set of, you know, $1,100 Michelin's. Five or six years? You should be tired to be worn out in five or six years. Oh, Come on. No, no. Mm -hmm. no. Well, you don't never drive no way that if your tires ain't wore out in five or oh, six we, years. We've, we've put some on that lasted, uh, what, 10, 12 years? Yeah, 10, 10, 12 years. 10 years is DOT legal limits. So at 10 years, you pretty much have to pull them off and put new tires on. It's pretty crazy. Every 12 years, you said? 10, 10 years. I've seen them up to 10 years. Before. Yeah, but wow. 10, 10 years is DOT uh, advised to change them. Yep. I've so never seen a tire last 10 years myself. Never. Yeah. Oh, there's there's tires time. rolling around Florida that. There's tires rolling around Florida. <laughs> there's there's tires. a lot of, there's a lot gotta, of shit rolling around oh, Florida that should be. All you got to do is get on Craigslist and look at some of the shit people are selling. Yeah. You know, tires. yeah. yeah I found leaving behind the house. <laughs> yeah. 30 this is years Florida years. after all. If anyone else wants to know anything about cars, this is a good time because we got nine <laughs> outdoors here and they're going to give us all, they'll tell us like what tires to get, and, you know. What are good tires for shooting? Shooting? <laughs> tires for shooting soft sidewall. No, it bounces back at you. Yeah. <laughs> That's 45 right back at you. I've had that. Right, okay. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, we, we shot a, uh, uh, it was, I think it was 33 by 1250, 15 mud terrain with a 12 gauge double up buck. Uh -huh. Double up buck doesn't like to penetrate, it likes to bounce back. That's and, not good. Uh, it, 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 yeah, it, you guys almost wound up as one of those dudes in Florida that did something crazy on the day. It, it tended to bounce back into my legs. Man, shoots himself with buckshot. Story to love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty painful. 
Yeah, I bet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you, you got to be careful when shooting at times. Yeah. So people want to know what's your day job since you're talking about all this stuff. You brought it up. What's your day job? <laughs> We're both uh, AC certified uh, automotive technicians. So there so you we, go. Uh, we, we, we can pretty much tear anything apart, put it back together. I've, I've worked on everything from Teslas, Corvettes. Uh, new Camaro ZL1s. Old Camaros. Old, Camaros. Uh, old, old Dodges, new Dodges. Yeah. You name it, we probably Hellcats. done something with it. <laughs> well, I worked on a Hellcat, Hank. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's nice. <laughs> you ever installed any superchargers? Uh, yes, actually I have. Yeah. A couple okay. centrifugal superchargers, yeah. Okay, cool. I think I want to put a, a supercharger on my Rebel. Oh, that's easy. Supercharge that bad boy. It's a bolt-on kit. Yeah, that, I was going to say, that's just a straight bolt-on. Yeah, you just tap your wolf feed line. That's a kit you can put on, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just got to convince Lola that it's prudent. It's it's more fuel efficient, right, Steve? Put your yeah, yeah. Lola's super, actually not, coming in to not, say not no. Not Lola, Lola, they get some supercharged fuel. Him. <laughs> See what it does? The torque helps the vehicle move faster. Yeah, so it's more it's more yeah. fuel efficient, woman. What? <laughs> Supercharged by propane. We're gonna yeah. put the forty fours and the ten inch lift on it. Yeah. Yeah. You heard what Al Gore said? This is the end of the world. Right. He's gonna be making another movie. I wonder what you know. I, I don't know if anyone. This is a total like off the subject, but if anyone ever saw. <laughs> oh boy, Walter's pulling out. Al Gore, he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny with that Inconvenient Truth movie? Like Al Gore said by now, we'll all be underwater. You know yeah, that, right? remember that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20, foot, 20 yeah. foot higher, yeah. What a yeah. So he's coming out with a second movie. I'm not going to waste my time to watch it, but that's going to be interesting to see where he moved that goalpost down to. Yeah. He's like, yeah, um, another 10 years from now when I'm about to come out with uh, Inconvenient Truth 3, <laughs> It just That's when it's going to be the end of the world. Right around the time. Right then. Know. And then, and then, and you know, and also, like, another thing that's funny about Al Gore is... People that, listen to him. Yeah, but <laughs> in that movie, he shows all these places that are going to get flooded out, including Florida and, and yeah. parts of California, right? Yeah. Do you know where he went and bought a house in California? <laughs> right on the coast. Right in the zone where he said wow. it's going to, you know. So yeah. anyone who's going to go see that movie is going to help Al Gore get more jets. You go see that movie, just bend over and grab your ankles because he's going to do you right in the backside. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to go see that movie, you could just go watch 2012. It'd be the same thing. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. so, oh, well. You yeah. know, not to mention he stole Larry David's wife, but that's probably that probably helped out Larry David a little bit. All right, here you go. So. For, you, for you younglings there, you, you weren't around or you remember the early 80s when they were like anti-rock music. Oh, oh well, you know, 904 oh, wasn't around. Gore, listen, listen. Gore's running around getting, uh, yeah. you know, oh, God, they go, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah they all were they all, the, all they did was watch, make the kids watch, listen to the music more when they put the labels on them. So. Yeah, Mike Mike Bryant said that um, Al Gore was driving property values down so he could buy it up. <laughs> That's probably true. Um, and, uh, listen, he's got to do more than that to make it happen. That ain't going to work. So Yeah, Walter, uh, let me remind you something that uh, 904 Outdoors, they're like pimply faced babies. <laughs> you know, well, well, these guys I'm, are ad adolescents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just telling you, go back and and, and you know, check Their out. Their mamas and papas weren't around in the '80s. <laughs> Tipper Gore, t check out Tipper Gore. She, besides having to be medicated because she's a fucking nut, um, <laughs> <laughs> she was. Um, and seriously, she has got mental problems. But um, but you know, they were the anti-rock music bunch, like and against yeah. Ozzy Osbourne and all that yeah, stuff. Uh, yeah, hip hop and everything. Yeah, you know. and all yeah. it did was just you put. They could put it. You put R rated on a movie. What do you want to go see? Everybody go goes to see that. Movie. Yeah. yeah, you want to see the tits. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah they helped Two Live Crew blow up, man. Two Live well, Crew and well, sure. mm -hmm. All those guys, man, bite the head off the bat, and you know that was an accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Says and, and here's what's accident. crazy. Uh, Mark Wagner says, and he won a Nobel Prize for that. Well, so did Obama get something too. So that yeah, tells you the Nobel's worth. When, when do we get our Nobel Peace Prizes? Oh, they give them out like uh, like a I keep participation my, trophies now. I keep my pocket. <laughs> I don't take yeah. no participation trophy. You know? <laughs> we're never getting peace. We're never getting peace prizes. You can keep that mofo. I ain't taking that yeah. thing. You know? Yeah. People say we're violent because we like guns. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait, wait. That was in the news today. What I'm talking about the Austin, the city of Austin police chief. Was telling people to turn in or or report gun enthusiasts. Get Ooh. out of here! It, it was on the news. I saw it in Texas. Yes. Yeah. Well, Austin is a liberal. Yeah, it's a liberal part of Texas. 
Yes, yes. There's a well. There's a mecca. They're, they got their little cities. You know, their little places. Yeah, somebody can, needs to tell him to turn his badge in. Yeah. Someone yeah. needs to just well. Anyways, how can um, you even say that, Texas? Yeah. It's, it's like Texas. You buy a bottle of whiskey, you get a free gun. Yeah. Yeah. They should kick him out of Texas, right? Just for that nonsense. Well, I saw it and I was like, I can't believe somebody would say that. You know. Yeah. But yeah. some, somebody's law enforcement. Jackson, Jackson I, Oldman says that Austin doesn't count as Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, that's crazy. So so what what are they supposed to turn in gun enthusiasts for? Like what? Well, what's if, the if, like? if you were too probably enthusiastic about it, I I didn't read all her article, but it, the headline was pretty simply. You know, it's like okay, maybe, you know, maybe they're maybe if you're too into guns, maybe you're scared in somebody. You know, what I is don't, too into guns. Yeah. I'm trying. Well, I don't know. What is it? Who determines that? Right? I don't yeah. know. I think we need to ship all those people to North California. Carolina. Yeah. yeah, just send me California. No, we need to ship. We need to ship. Ship all everyone to North Korea. Kim Jong. Yeah. Kim Jong. Go go hang out with uh, Kim Jong for a little while. See what happens. To hey, you. you know we can house him in one of those skyscrapers he's got there that's empty inside. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not empty inside, Walter. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, we can. Lola says, send them along with Dennis Rodman. It's not empty inside, it's a facade. <laughs> it's a facade, it's not an actual building. It's okay. not like China has all these buildings that are actual buildings and they're just empty. You know, North Korea don't have nothing. Okay, pulling out an AK that? now. What was that? AKs have been pulled. Okay, what do you got? It's an AK. We're talking about North Korea, you know, Korea. Oh, yeah. that's so, not Korean. Is that a uh, Century Arms one? This is a Century. Yeah, that's the RS forty seven. All right, so uh, I, mean, I got I got a question for you. Here, here's uh -oh. a general question, observation question thing. For the longest time, Century Arms, everybody was raving about the Century Arms guns, and I have one. I have a milled receiver gun. They, they were the best thing since sliced bread. And now everywhere you go out in the internet, people are like, oh, those things are a piece of shit. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's like, about. what happened? I know are, they, are they failing? I mean, I, I haven't. I yes. Don't, yes, okay. they're failing. Yes and no. Um, what, is, what is failing? Is a bolt carrier failing? Because I was always wondering why they made that a holy bolt carrier. Yeah, that the uh, AK-47 Operators Union YouTube channel came out with a video of the RAS-47 failing after, what was it? 5,000 rounds. Yeah, five, they did 5,000 rounds. rounds. That was a sheet metal gun or, or a milled gun? Uh, that's a sheet metal gun. That's a, that's a now sheet what, gun. Okay, what failed particularly? Uh, the back of the uh, the bolt carrier where it comes it back broke. and hits the back it broke it, it in half broke it and snapped it, it was, but it they also oh, okay. did it a lot you're not going to want to yeah. do with the gun anyways they, they they beat on it they threw it on the ground okay okay right well okay they, now let me ask you another question who puts 5000 rounds to their gun exactly not the average average person. Not an average person. Okay, but the truth is, one of the reasons why I, I get what you guys are saying, but the truth is, the people the reason why people buy AKs because they're supposed to be tough as all hell. Walter yeah. swears, like if there was an apocalypse, he yeah. would rather take his AK than take his AR. Yeah. So yes. I mean, isn't that that's yeah. the whole reason? You can't say, oh well, no one's going to use five thousand rounds, and then and then at the same time say the the okay. AK is the. I, I'm not going to say no one's rifle gonna on the planet. It, but but six hundred dollars. Yeah, this one was six hundred bucks. We um, got brand new. I think Classic Firearms right now has them for four seventy five. Okay, with like a rebate or something. Yeah, it's a hundred dollar rebate. So I have I have one of the first gen C thirty nines. The yeah, the V one milled receiver ones. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, I haven't put a lot of rounds through it, and I was always wondering about the bolt carrier. It's like why they why they skeletonize the bolt carrier? I don't understand that. Any kind of gun you beat Tactical. on. Tactical. Beat the crap out of it. It's gonna break. You run it over with the car. Yeah, you run it over with the car. You drop it off a building. Things yeah. that it's not supposed to be done. Well, that we? that that's that's a lot of these torture tests are way beyond anything you're gonna. Really even do. if you yeah, but that's the that's the whole point of a torture test. Yeah, but it's not it's not realistic, Hank. It's not it's realistic. Not, the, the average. You know, it'd be like taking your car, your car, your street car, and going off road with it. It's gonna yeah. break right away. Yeah. It's not gonna, gonna break. Gonna, he's gonna buy so it's gun. not it's not a realistic test. Yeah, I think that. The thing is, is that people are buying AKs thinking, hey, this is an apocalyptic gun. It could go but through it, anything. It you is. Know, it could survive all this it's, stuff, not, blah, blah, blah. Gonna, you wouldn't take so, your gun and you, if, if, if that was the only gun you had, would you use it as yeah, a but Listen, I think it's a good thing to, don't you want to know, regardless of, if you want to buy a $600 AK, 
or five hundred dollar AK or two thousand yeah. dollar AK. Why wouldn't you want to know how far it's going to go? It's like how a rock veteran does these burn downs. The other day they burned down. Yeah. I think a, a, a was it Palmetto State? Like yeah, right. a, a normal, normal, old, normal old M4. Yeah, yeah. But that yeah. gun is not designed. That you don't run an M4 carbine. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you is, yes, I get <laughs> they it. Don't that you do don't that. do that. It, 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 it's not realistic. That's yeah, what, they, and they even said that. They said that in the review. This is not what's going to happen in real yeah. life. Of but course, it, but, it, of course, it, it, but it, you want to know the breaking point. That's all. It's just a, it's just okay. a point of reference. You now you know the breaking point, right? All right. All right. Well, you know, we did that with. Um, it, makes, it makes for a lot. Of, it makes for a lot of views. Exactly. Yeah, that's all. That's 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 what they went with. That's, that's, that's what the thing it does. With these. Yeah, that's but the you, I, they get they got a lot of views and and people watched it like crazy and they started circulating it. Oh, these break, these break, these break. We've got what almost two thousand rounds in it. No, we're at twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yeah, and it's still it's. <laughs> that's perfect. that's what I was saying before. For a while there, you couldn't find anything bad anywhere from anybody about the the Century Arms, at least the milled guns. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like everywhere you look, they're just oh, they're terrible. They're this, they're that. They're pieces of shit. No. Uh, it's like, what what happened? I mean, I don't, yeah, I, don't, I mean, listen. Some people are jumping on the bandwagon, but well, I think it's yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good thing to know what the breaking point is. Then you make a more educated decision. We did that with the uh, DP12 from Standard Manufacturing. Yeah, and we had well, nobody's ever going to shoot six hundred rounds at one time. Yeah, we went closer yeah. to seven hundred rounds before we had any, and it was still functional. It was just doing something it shouldn't do because it was shooting both barrels <laughs> at the same time. That's a lot of people won actually, but you know. What? Yeah, and then there are people there are people complaining about it, and I was like, okay, well at least you have a point of reference here. If you're in trouble and you you've got to put seven hundred rounds through this thing in an hour, you've got a yeah. lot of other problems going on. But at least you know. You know, for me, that's a good point of reference. If people ask me, like, hey, is this something, you know, that I would buy, my question would be, yeah, because I know that this thing could do 700 rounds before it has any problems in, in an hour, but but that's not practical. I'm never going to actually have to do that, no, yeah. right? So in some cases, like, for example, in Connecticut, where they make that gun, you cannot buy a, a brand new AR, but you can go buy that gun. Well, but that's, so, that's great. You know, so, but it's just, I think it's just a point of reference. Yeah, I, I agree with you guys that no one's going to go to the extent that AK Operators Union did. But he did us, he did a service for you. You didn't have to go out there and do all that craziness. You didn't have to burn your own AK up then. Yeah, yeah you didn't have to burn through your ammo and, 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 and Rob did some work for you. Rob Ski did some work Rob for you. Ski. Now you know. Um, and so, I mean. What I don't like about the AK though, I mean, it's a great gun. They shoot great. They're, they're not horrible on recoil. But as far as like an apocalyptic scenario, like you're talking about, you know, zombies are coming, you know, you know, crap hit the fan. Um, I wouldn't pick an AK, honestly, because of say you're on the road, you know, you're, you're traveling, you've got an AK, where are you going to find bullets? Because it's not as readily available for 76239 as it is for 556 or 223 in the US. So, I mean, I don't know. Personally, I'd rather go with the AR, but. There's a lot of cases of ammunition that have never been opened by guys that have bought SKSs and AKs. That's true. Yeah. I, I, I started selling back in the 90s when you guys were in your diapers. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> should I remind you again? I, I know, you again? I know. 904 you were, you were wasn't even born in the you 90s. Were, you were hanging and banging in New York City in the 80s or something. Yeah, in the, yeah. Oh, in the 80s and 90s, man, I was like all the you way were, up in it. You were up in it. I sold I've sold SKS to the guys and they see like ten years later they go, Yeah, man, you sold me an SKS. I said, How to shoot? I don't know. Never shot it. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it I bought the rifle, I bought a case of ammo and put it in the closet. Yep. Yeah. That's and what then, happens with most AKs. Right, yeah. right. So there are thousands of cases of ammunition out there. Now I'll tell you what, if North Korea brings their ass over here and tries to invade us. <laughs> I'm going to get him with a 22. Yeah, <laughs> I'm grabbing the first thing I can find. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think um, – All I, I got to do, do is put out a bottle of liquor for Kim Jong, and he's done anyways. He's drunk and ass. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or some okay. cocaine. Yeah. He's like the cocaine and the hookers. That would work too, you know. We're not wasting out cocaine and hookers on Kim. Well, you put a bait. It's like a rat trap. You put it out for the rat, and then he gets it, and you pow, done. Yeah. Okay. I killed a rat in the shop the other day, by the way, too. Oh, thanks for that. I'm glad you know. I should I should have done a live feed on that. Was one. it big and juicy? Did you did you cook it up? 
No, I don't eat rat. I'm not Korean. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll get some hate for that. I'm Walter sorry. said that. <laughs> yeah. Did you shoot it with the STH fifty? <laughs> I just said I just set a rat I just set a trap with some peanut butter and boom, got him. Should have hit with a fifty. You should have hit with a fifty. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that would have yeah. been viral. It ricochets <laughs> all to it'd be like a, it'd be like a Bugs Bunny thing. Pew 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 pew. pew, pew. Like Trump versus North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get, don't give uh, Walter crazy ideas. <laughs> hey, I'm not I'm not crazy really. He makes his own crazy ideas. We just kind of instill them. Yeah, we just you know we're just throwing stuff. So you know what's um, what, yeah. you know, okay. So hold on, let's go to some new stuff. I, I don't know who has Walter. Do you have um, Mike Bryan says hashtag Wolverines. <laughs> oh yeah. Wolverines. <laughs> <laughs> if any country tries to uh, come over here, well, I had, know, a that, that, had a conversation that, about that today with Hyman Show, actually. Yeah, that's not funny. I mean, you know, the Japanese, they knew back in World War II they couldn't invade the U.S. because everybody had a gun. Yep. And, they knew, and, they, and they knew how to use it, too. Yeah. Okay, so this is from Robert McNeely. This is his comment. From what I've seen in South Korea, um, they use more ARs than AKs. They use the Daewoo. They don't use the AR. Yeah. Which is... And the Daewoo is a mixture of the AK and the AR. It's both, yeah. See, yeah. that's perfection. Daewoo is a really nice gun. Yes. You said you have a few, right? Yeah, I, I have thought you were getting ready to talk about the Daewoo car. No, no. I thought, no. You guys don't know there's a Daewoo rifle? I have, heard, I have two Daewoo's, by the way. So. Yeah. You guys um, ever heard of that 904? Yeah, or are you guys yeah, just too young? Too young? Thanks. The 904 guys are just too young. Oh, there's a thing <laughs> called in Korea called Daewoo in the industry. I promised them today when we went out to lunch, I was gonna because because Steve was complaining because he was in the chat, and I said something to him about being young or something like that. I was like, "Oh, you're gonna complain? Now I'm really gonna bring it." <laughs> you said I was a teenager once the morning. We were hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you weren't even a teenager. I wasn't even been. born when Sigourney Weaver was hot. <laughs> It'd be a long time. Every ago. day, yeah. yeah. You were just born back in like who? who let me see. Um, what, oh. What's her name? <laughs> uh, Britney Spears. Oh, Britney Spears, Spears times. That's oh. where you're from. You're from Britney Spears times. Holy <laughs> that. Wow. That's my time. That is my time. Nothing wrong yeah. with Britney Spears either. So. <laughs> um, hey, yeah. I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her lately, but you know. Okay, so Walter, do you have news? There was some news thing you said you wanted to talk about. What oh, you got? Um, well, I was just on what the farm. Well, was, well, uh, uh, oh, you don't want. Oh, what's this? The auto glove. Oh, uh, not again! Come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, Steve the, just discovered the auto glove. By the way. <laughs> yeah, Steve I'm says he one. wants an auto glove. I'm about oh, here. So we can we can test it on the Sig P320. <laughs> We're just gonna put it all together. Put, put it on the back of the yeah, on the back of the slide. Yeah. yeah, Steve is hoping for a viral video here. <laughs> that would actually that, that would not be a part of on that one. <laughs> that, would, that, that would actually be pretty funny if you think about it. You make your own auto glove and you put it up there, and you just have somebody do like an, an animation where it goes like a machine gun. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh yeah. No, I'm, yeah. Hang sec. Yeah, right. Um, I'm looking here at the firearms blog. They're saying the uh, they got a picture of a magnesium AR-15 lower that snapped in epic fashion. Ooh. Oh, yeah, magnesium. I, from yeah, where? I have a couple of those actually. Where, which, uh, which lower did they use? Uh, let me click on the article here. There, I don't think there's any choices. There's only one, I think, isn't there? Um, let's see here. Mag tactical. Uh, mag tactical. I don't know. Um, I bought a couple of those from um, Center Fire Systems. Uh, I haven't, I haven't, haven't tested it. Yes, yeah, I think that's the one I have actually. I have to look at it to shop. But um, yeah, speaking of that, I mean, today I received in the mail or by FedEx. Um, oh, I think um, Top Shelf says Matt Tack. I don't know if that's who it was. Where was that article? The firearms blog. The firearms blog. Let me see. I'll look it up. Go yes, ahead. Sir. You guys no, talk I, amongst yourselves. Today, I, uh, you know, I'm speaking of things. How cheap they are. Center Fire Systems was selling um, AK-74 receivers. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if I should say this because I don't know if it's a dealer price or what. But um, I brought AK-74 receivers for twelve fifty a piece. Wow. 
I mean, I remember those things were fifty, seventy-five dollars. I bought a, I bought a, I bought ten of them actually, just because they were twelve fifty a piece. You said AK seventy four receivers, yeah, blank receivers. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, cheap, really? Cool. Yeah, cheap metal cool. receivers. So, um, I bought this low receiver for three hundred dollars. I, I know. <laughs> He's holding his five thousand dollar gun. That so make fun five of him. <laughs> you poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> I make fun of him. Uh, yeah. You should. You should. Yeah. It suits great. I love it. That's that's your uh, that's your panic buy. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. So we've got the Tyvin show. What's up, Tyvin? Tyvin. Uh, his audio is a little messed up. Oh. Yeah. There he is. Hey, Tyvin, can you hear us? Give me a sec. Okay. Yeah. I'm on live stream. Or my headset on. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So I was talking about um, North Korea. <laughs> we had this conversation <laughs> earlier, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, thanks for having me on here, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Shikani. Oh, you're uh, welcome. We had, that, good. we had that little conversation earlier today um, about all of that. If the U.S. would happen to be in a military conflict with North Korea, certain amount of the military assets would go in that general direction. And if another company, let's say Russia or whatever, would want to invade, I don't think it would ever happen because the U.S. society, we're all armed. And then you get yeah. into the militias. And then anything done on modern-day militias and what's going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think for the, I mean, I'm not going to say everyone in America because there's yeah. people in America that are voluntarily disarming yeah. yeah, there's a lot you of know. a lot of. Uh, um, we say, but I think uh, I think we could put some militias together pretty quickly. Depends on where you are. I think Florida is pretty safe. Texas is good. Well, Arizona, Mississippi, <laughs> Alabama, North Florida, Indiana, uh, California. Tennessee. I don't know. You guys got some characters down there in Florida, man. Yeah. They're always making national news at eleven o'clock for doing <laughs> some goofball great. stuff, man. I I just laugh. Yeah. Um, it's the it's the humidity. Yeah. <laughs> oh. on the humidity. <laughs> it was 95 today in Safety Harbor. It was like, holy cow, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. It rained here today. Didn't oh, it poured this <laughs> afternoon. Yeah, I was, it was, I was, so, yeah. I was test firing rifles in the shop this afternoon and it poured. So, yeah. yeah. The thing I think is, um, yeah, I think a lot of countries do consider that, that they come to America. We're not... There's other countries out there. We could get, we could conceivably in this world, there could be countries out there that would be invaded and the people would just have to give up. Right. You know, and I'm not, not just here, talking baby. about France. You know, there's a, <laughs> not there's a bunch, there's a bunch of places you, that, out there. That Kim, go ahead. Yeah, that Kim guy over there in North Korea over there, man, he's got a huge chip on his shoulder. <laughs> if he even thinks that he's going to come over and invade, I mean, the, everybody that's on the DMZ in South and uh, South Korea, they're more or less a bump in the road. But so was he talking crazy. about invading I mean, have, America? Did he? Well, did he say he's talking about, about Guam, I think. Um, the main, the main. Well, there, he he was planning on picking on Guam because he thought that that would be a miniature like little attack on the U.S. with no big sacrifice to the mainland of the. Uh, to say, hey, on you, I'm a little dude, and the U.S. got wind of it and said, no, 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 you're a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah, I don't think he, you know, if he, if he's like even thinking in his mind that he's gonna be able to get away with that in America, I, uh, no, uh, he, yeah, you that's know, not as serious. Uh, that's a long way to swim. Yeah. <laughs> So and they ain't got no, they got no air support. They got no nothing. It's like, it's, it's even even for the Russians. Think about it. Yeah. You you just don't. How do you get here? Yeah. Top shelf ammo. Um, top, top shelf tactical. Excuse me. Said he has a huge chip on his shoulder. Um, that's why he's so short. <laughs> he hate no, 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 He's so short because he's an inbred little fuck. That's yeah. why. He's well. So short. <laughs> You know, you're talking about you're talking about a guy who basically was raised like he's a god or something like that. You know, right? That's that's the situation that we have going on there. These people have convinced him he's some kind of god, and oh, he's you know, a god of his own freaking mind. That's what he yeah. is. He, so, 
<laughs> he said they're little inbred fucks. That's what they are. <laughs> Sorry, they are. I mean, hey, you're absolutely right. But you know, um, or if my mama that, was a prostitute, one or the other. That so, doesn't I mean, mean you can't, can't cause trouble in the world. You know, but we we shouldn't even let it. What I what I think is we shouldn't really let it get this far, because. Well, you know, talk, at some point, we have Jimmy to stop Carter. making threats and, and, you know. Talk to Jimmy Carter. Talk to uh, all the other presidents, including Bush and all the other ones that gave him shit for years and years and years. And, and oh, we'll give you a little of this. It won't be that bad. You go you go get drunk somewhere. You'll be okay. Here's some more hookers. And then, so now you got somebody's got to deal with it. Keep passing it off. Pass it off. Yeah, pass it off. at some point, the, the price has to be paid and, you know. Um, well, we're we're at that point right now where it's now or never, and and if we don't deal with these guys, then I mean Russia is going to go. Yeah, we can. You, you want to give that little? You want to give that little fuck a nuke with they can put on a warhead, and then he can do he can do Tokyo with. You know, I yeah. mean, then what are you going to do? Yeah, well, that's what, what you're going to do. If he nukes somebody, he has to be nuked in return. Oh, yeah. Period. There's no other way to do it. You. You don't. There's no. There's nothing. Nothing that you're gonna do. You have to nuke them. Yeah, it's, it's the American justice system. You kill somebody, we kill you back. <laughs> you you gotta nuke them into glass. Yeah. And you know, and hopefully I, the wind's blowing the right way. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I mean, you know. That, I think it's a it's a simple situation. The problem is actually getting there. And there's lots of people out there that are like, oh no, we've got Trump there and he's going to do this thing. Whereas if all this was going on and maybe you had Obama or something in office and he oh. was getting ready to bomb them, they'd be like, oh, it, it, oh. this must be necessary because oh, we it don't want to we, we don't want to bomb any. We might hit a school. Yeah. <laughs> So well, this, yeah, talk to, you're talk right. to the this French and the Germans festering. about that. Yeah, yeah this is like a, a boil or a sore that's been festering for a long time, and uh, you know it has to be lanced. And, and and there's a bunch of people in the world that you can't let, um, you know, really go this far. So, you know. Well, when I when I was over there in ninety, go ahead, Walter. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Go ahead. You you got you got first hand experience. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. When I was over there in uh, ninety two and ninety three. I'm sure a lot of it's changed since then, but when you're on your way up to the uh, the grid line up there to cross between the north and the south, if you went through a valley, they had big concrete blocks about the size of a semi, and they would be like 15, 20 on the left, 15, 20 on the right, and they're stacked on these big concrete pillars, and they've got dynamite all landed in between there. And if anything would ever hit the fan, dude, all those roads are blowed and collapsed Boom. to try to stop the invasion because this guy's got a million guys on that DMZ. Yeah, I don't know how uh, I don't know how well they're fed um, or how long they could be fed. Um, but you know, that's one thing that's got to be taken into consideration, and so that's why Trump said what he said: if you're going to start some shit, there's going to be there's going to be hell to pay. So, um, well, that's why the South Korean government works so close with the U S we had their soldiers in our unit and they called them Katusas and they had to pass an English test to get in, to be part of our units and stuff. But when we would go out and go to the range or out when we would set up artillery units and stuff, they would come out and we would see some of their rations. And I was like, dude, how are you not hungry? <laughs> because it's at a bare minimum, and we're sitting there. We would get two MREs for lunch, two RMEs for breakfast, two RMEs for, for dinner. We'd have the kitchen <laughs> sink wow. come out, and we were trading stuff, you know, for just anything that was kind of a novelty item. We would give them to the soldiers or just straight out give them to them because they're yeah. hungry. Right, right, right. But And, and some that, of their and, guns and this, they and got that, or machines so bad, is how do they even function? Oh, you're talking about South Koreans now, right? Yeah, the South Korean military. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, it's a pretty tough situation there, and um, at some point that has to all get balanced out. I don't think that that part of the world is going to be able to go forward with this dude for too long, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, at this stage, they've, like, gone beyond, uh, you know, beyond delusional. <laughs> You know, so uh, I, I don't think they really have anything, you know, they're just going to keep going in this direction. Maybe they feel like they don't have anything to lose. 
you know, who knows what's going on there. We just need to put some pressure on them and, and change that situation. That's it. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, with these last sanctions that I've seen put on them, they didn't do the oil, but they did a lot of the other stuff. Their people's already starving. They have oh, yeah. nothing to lose. Yeah. You know, they got everything to gain, including food and everything else. And once they get down south, and I think when they finally realize and see what souls like, and they if it, if they would invade, that they're going to say, "Hey, we were lied to." Yeah, it might take a couple of days, but once they realize that they've been sheltered all their lives, or lied to, yeah, they lied to. It, it'll change a lot of their perspective. Yeah. Now let's go. Go ahead. No, go, well, ahead. go ahead. I was going to say to go back to the, the question that you were posing of like what would happen, you know, just to, just as like a thought experiment, the question of what would happen in America if some country out there decided to invade us. I think I don't think it's a like a cut and dry answer. I think it depends on what part of America they go to. Some places in America would just give up. California. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know. I don't think all California give up. Every, everybody always, I mean, I always do it too, but everybody always makes fun of California and says, oh, California all sucks, but the people that don't live in the cities don't suck. Yeah, um, that's true. Got 10 rounds to do with. There, there's a lot of gun guys out in California. Right, right. And they um, and, and unfortunately, they got to live there. Yeah, um, yeah. But in the cities, you know, it, it, the city would self-destruct pretty much because – of all the the gangs and the and the thugs and the this that and the other preying on each other, um, but in the country, well, I don't I don't think I want to screw with the country. To be honest with you, it it's believed that the average grocery store slash warehouse in the U.S. could only sustain three days of product. And being in the trucking industry, we oh, deal man. with a lot of distribution in warehouses and stuff. Yeah. Everything today is next day, got to deliver it, we need it now. Yeah, right. If there would be an overrun or the crap would hit the fan, the inner cities would last for about a day and a half, then chaos would kick in, and then you're going to see everybody running to the country. Well, yeah. who's armed? <laughs> the country, the country boy or country the city folks, boy? The country folks are. Uh, well, yeah, don't know, come don't come down to the country without invites. <laughs> oh, what I well, what I've always said was even in the city here, if the electricity goes out for a couple of days, people lose their mind. Yeah, a couple if of days. They, if they gotta sleep in the dark where they can't yeah. see, they just they just. Yeah, but I think also what Tyvin's saying is really true, man. If um, if the tractor oh, trailer if the tractor trailers got cut off for any reason, <laughs> that's it. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, the yeah. trucker's gonna trucker's gonna head home with that tractor leg full of food. He ain't gonna take it to the yeah. store. Come on. You're exactly yeah. right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that load of Snickers bars is going right to my garage. Hey, hey you know, people would like a, a bar of, a bar of chocolate or a, or a beer. People would kill. For that stuff when it comes when it got that bad so yeah you know um just imagine what's gonna happen man even toilet paper i tell people oh yeah like you think oh yeah we could just use leaves or whatever okay you ever <laughs> wipe a lot of people in america are not ready to start using leaves to wipe their asses uh, or, or Hank, yeah i'm so glad that you brought that up because back in the 70s they were trying all this trucker strike with the fuel and then here a few years ago, they were all whining and crying about how the truckers should go on strike. And I actually brought that up to several um, high-ranking people in OIDA. And I was like, look, you want to get the politicians' attention? You want to get the president's attention? All we have to do is stop hauling toilet paper. Don't, you know, don't <laughs> keep, keep well, hauling the fuel so everybody can get around. Keep hauling the medication so grandma and grandpa won't get sick. Keep hauling the food for everybody, you know, to have food. And you cripple the toilet paper market. It's only hurting one business. It can recover because it comes from trees. Right. All we had to do was stop hauling toilet paper and you would get so many. You want to you put a hurting on California? Ask all the truckers to stop hauling toilet paper to California. You'll get somebody's attention. <laughs> yeah, I say do it now until we get gun rights back in California. I am not. I am not condoning that in any way, shape, or form. I am not calling for a strike on toilet paper. It's just a California. hypothesis. I am not the one to blame if this action goes upon and actually happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, you instigator, you. That's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna start using pictures of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yes, Mr. Sundum <laughs> says use the New York Times. Uh, we don't even read papers. Uh, we don't even read newspapers anymore. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. the print and press is going the way of the dinosaur. <laughs> Um, well, you was talking about that too, Hank. Guys even go 24 hours without their cell phones. They're going to see oh. a therapist because they don't know how to interact with people. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I left mine at the shop last night, and I was like, oh, all right, whatever. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's why you weren't answering all my texts. You didn't send me no texts. You know, <laughs> I was sending you texts, text, man. <laughs> I, was sending you, I was sending you dirty pictures. No, you weren't. Of a no. cell <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you weren't. It's Liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. You, you misspoke. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Next time you leave it there, let's see what happens. Uh, I'll give out that. I'll give out that that text number. And I'll oh, say, bless okay, you, Eric. Everyone, everyone, send dirty pictures to this number. <laughs> Put it on a Craigslist ad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. let's pose with the power finger. Send your pictures. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Auto glove. Yeah. Auto glove, yeah. <laughs> so okay, let's um so do oh, does oh, any, oh, what's up? Real, real, real quick, since you said that, there was a guy that posted a picture. I'll have to try to find it to you for you. He was making fun of the auto glove. Have you ever heard of one of those pneumatic um, machines where it bumps back and forth real fast and then you can send like vibrations across things and all that it repeats back and forth really fast and you can scent the residency of things okay. this guy actually put one in a stock of an AR and oh. turned it on and he got to rock back and forth so fast all he had to do was put his finger on the trigger and he had full <laughs> auto wow oh boy <laughs> so this, like is there video thing. of this or I, uh, I'll link you later. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see this. Send me, send me a link of this. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, we would definitely like to see this. Yeah. Um, the and um, and, oh, hey. cool. and I think I think uh, nine oh four would love for the auto glove people to send them an auto glove. We'll take he one. wants one. We'll take one. Yeah. So I'll put it on sixteen twenty. It'll be all right. Let's take a vote. Who's interested in that? I'm not really. I'm not really interested in it. So can I, I use it on the high tech on the high point? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Well, okay. We're gonna duct tape two <laughs> high points together and just fire them simultaneously. Would that be Would that be wrong to call that the Michael Jackson love glove? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you? Would you? Would you buy one of these auto gloves, Tyvin? No. No, okay. the only reason I, want one I can make I can make one for less than what they're probably going to sell it for. Two hundred ninety nine bucks. Wouldn't a couple, wouldn't a couple lines of cocaine do the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Walter. So you're not buying? Are you? Are you? Are you buying one or no? No gizmos. No gizmos like that. No. Yeah. No. I want to try it because it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most ridiculous. I watched the commercial on it. I'm like. They say it has to be under a three pound trigger. And I'm like, how many guns have under a three pound trigger? Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? Like, it's the stupid, and they're using like a, a Smith and Wesson MP 1522. Like, yeah, it's got a really light trigger because people are stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing. Yeah. I've ever seen um, good luck to everyone who's going to be out there waiting in lines to buy that. Not, yeah. you know. It'll be the only one. <laughs> yeah. Looking at, the, looking at the firearms blog, here's another thing I see here. Chaos AK pistol with magazine brace. Anybody else seen that? No. Uh, they're using like a magazine as a brace. Yeah. Uh, like a spare mag, I guess. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about that piece that flips down um, below the uh, pistol grip and goes down right in front of the magazine or underneath the magazine? The guy standing and he flips it and drops to the ground. And it's uh, used as like, instead of a bipod, it's a single pod. No, this is actually, it's in the back. It looks like it attaches to the back of the, of the gun. And, and then there's a flat piece that attaches to the bottom of the magazine. And, and it actually works like a, a stock hmm. or a brace. And it, and it kind of, this is a picture. It folds in the, in the firearms blog. Wow. Hmm. And who's making it? I'm, I'm scrolling through to see. A uh, company called Chaos. Oh, okay. With a C. C-H-A-O-S. Makes a custom Draco, makes custom Draco or Draco AK pistols. Draco. 
Draco. You must talk like a Romanian Draco. Yeah. It's not Draco. It's no, there's no E on the end of it. Okay. Um, for you guys that know the English language, so. <laughs> okay, those, okay, Walter. Those, don't, those get, those don't get hot. Don't get hot. <laughs> for those of y'all who went to regular old elementary school back in the old days, um, um, Draco, yeah. Draco. Um, but anyways, yeah. it's kind of interesting looking, using a magazine as a, as a stock. So. Yeah, I think I saw something about I saw something about that earlier, but I don't see it now. Yeah, it's the Chaos AK pistol with a magazine brace. Yeah, that's um, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Almost you guys had talked the other day about how the price of ammo had dropped. Yeah, I yeah. was on a website today. I, I won't say, but uh, Walter, you were right. Price of ammo has dropped. Big time. Um, for these you don't know, we're going to be doing some videos with uh, the 50 cal from Walter, and I was on there buying some ammo today, and I got it for a dollar seventy-five around. Fifty wow. BMG. Fifty BMG. Yeah. Who's or who's or what was it? Yeah. I mean, is yeah. it um, is it is it all right if I say? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It was uh, Ammunition Depot. Okay. Is it a name a brand or? Is it a, a reload or what is it? It was the uh, brand that you had suggested for me to get for your rifle. PMC? No, no. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was PMC. Oh, hang on. I got to check that out right now. Yeah, you got, you, the, you got PMC for a dollar something around? Holy. No, shit. wait a minute. That might have been, I bought 308 rounds too. That okay. might have been the, that might have been the, uh, 308 rounds it got, but the 50 cal rounds were $1.75. I just can't remember what brand they were. Okay, because usually uh, PMC is not that cheap, but... Yeah, how many different brands makes uh, 50 BMG? Not, there's not that many, right? Well, there's 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 some majors, and then there's there's three or four majors, and then there's a lot of people doing reloading and stuff. I try to stay away from the reloads myself. Um, so, did you make a 50? When did they? Yeah, yes, this they was... Yeah. Yeah. This was a reload that I got. But, Walter, if you look it up, I can't do it because I'm on mobile. Okay. Okay. But when you go to their website, it's the only one that they offer for sale for that okay. 50. Okay. okay. I'm going to hit you guys with some new stuff real quick go while on. you guys are looking that up. So there's an article, and this is uh, – where is this article? Uh, ready. This is on uh, U.S. Army for Life. And it says the U.S. Marines tested all male squads against mixed gender oh, ones, and the results that. were pretty bleak. I saw that. I can imagine what happened. I don't want to. Yeah, so you guys can go read this, but uh, let me see. Um, let's, oh, uh, you know what? I used my promo report, code on her. I bet you it was more than that. Overall, Sorry. the report says yeah. all male teams and crews outperformed mixed gender ones on <laughs> 93 out of uh, 134 <laughs> tasks evaluated. All wow. male teams were universally faster in each tactical movement on lethality, the report says. No Okay, surprise. all male uh, infantry squads had better accuracy compared to gender-integrated squads. There was a notable difference between genders for every individual weapon system. Um, oh, that's a good price. Yeah. So this, this is an interesting to look, thing to look at if you just want to have that discussion. No, I saw yeah. that. I saw the uh, headline, and I figured I did, probably didn't read a whole lot about it because yeah. it now what, what would have been interesting. Go ahead. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot to figure out. So yeah. Also, I would have been interesting to see if they did like all female squads and see how the all female squads did. All you got to do is go down to your local recruiter and find out how many. Um, what do you want to call it? Their WMs? quota. Oh. Yeah, their quota. Mm -hmm. See what their quota is. If you got a buddy that works at the recruiter station, if you figure out what's going on in the world, and if you think that the military is ramping up, just go down to the local recruiter's office and find out what the quota is. Oh, how okay. they're how and how they're meeting their quotas, or yeah, how many? What is their quota, and are they meeting their quota, or are they projected to up their quota? So if you ask them that, they will just tell you. Um, you if you got a friend. Yeah, oh, if you got a friend, you or, <laughs> if you got a friend, more likely they'll tell you. Or if you got an army buddy that can go in and talk to them, I, I don't think that's like average voluntary information. But yeah. there's there's ways around that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's some place we can go and look it up. Okay, who else has new stuff? 
Uh, that's, you... that's an interesting little story we can see. Uh, there's also a story that I got um, from my brother Anonymous um, uh, that's on Reason that's called, that it says the title is uh, Police Serve Warrant to Wrong Address and Kill Man Who Lives There. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh, ow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that sucks. Um, so they went to the wrong address, and and the homeowner, you know, people were coming resistant. in there. Yeah, he well, he had a gun, and they oh. were insisting that he dropped the gun, but they oh. were just, you know, I mean, yeah. So they didn't really take that long, I'm guessing, and they just took him out. But they were serving yeah. the, they were serving a warrant to the wrong place, and I think I, you know the guy probably was within, you know, this is what we would all do, right? If someone's all of a sudden kicking in well, your door. Well, let me ask you, if if you had if you had ten cops staring you down with a, assault rifles, would you resist? Well, the thing is, is that you if, if you didn't know at first would what you was resist? Going, no, but if you that's would die, if, that's why. Yeah, but that's if you had time to think about it. If you just know, like all of a sudden your door got kicked in and you go get your gun, and when you come out there, they have that thing. There has and your adrenaline and everything is pumping. Pumping. There has to be a period of time that your brain adjusts to like, oh shit, you know, because yeah. you just went into panic mode. So. Not if somebody broke into my house and I grabbed my guns. I ain't time to say hi. Who are you? Or Hey, police is here. I'm shooting through the walls. I don't wait for him to get to the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, it's. I don't play. This is one of the things about them, like, doing all these kinds of things, right? You know, they could come across the wrong person. Do you want to be that person? Do you want to be the no. person that. Or, like, there's a, there were. I don't know if it's still going on, but there were people that. Uh, people were pulling pranks by calling the police and getting them to show up at people's houses. Do you know that? Oh, yes. That's swatting. A lot of the big gaming YouTubers, that's happened to um, Woody Gamertag. I think he's had squat called on him like six or seven times. Yeah, it's, it's happened to lots of people out there. And w what do you think's happening? You know, these guys are trying to push people's buttons, hoping something that's going to happen. So, um, you know. Personal experience, um, they missed my house by two blocks. And once I found out what was going on, I was actually friends with the police department. I actually went, gave him my name, my phone number. I gave him a secret password. My wife's got one. And then we contacted the local sheriff's department, too, and said, hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. If anybody calls, you need to call and get a password. Don't storm my house because I keep guns everywhere in my house, and I shoot through walls. I don't ask questions first. Yeah, um, Mr. Sumgum says that that's why they should not come in force. You know? <laughs> you know? Um, <clears throat> but this is like, this is the whole thing that's going on. You know, they're, they're not always very accurate with their data when they're doing these things. Sometimes they go to the wrong, you know, the wrong house. There's all yeah, kinds of things, of you know. Yeah, they just have misinformation. All kinds of stuff goes on. And, you know... You're in a country where people have the right to defend themselves, and if you come kicking in their door, you know they're going to react. Well, and vice so, versa. Yeah, that's why I like the laws in Texas because they've got the Neighbor Act. If somebody's breaking into my neighbor's house, I've got the right to use deadly force on their property if it's adjacent to my property. Yeah, but the question here is, what happens when it's the police? When the popo shows up, yeah, it's like yeah. You know? If it's that far away, you're going to see disco lights. You're going to see that reflection of <laughs> yeah, that badge on the side of the car. You, you mean every gun owner's of, gut common sense. Things, yeah, well, in a lot of these things, that's not how they're going in there. Yeah, as well. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, I think you have to use some common sense when dealing with this stuff. I rem And this is not the police, but I remember there was a story a few months ago where there were these uh, bounty hunters that went after yeah. someone in a dealership. In yep. a car dealership. Everybody died. Yeah, that's just totally insane. They went after a guy in a oh, car dealership, oh. and they and they try to rush him inside an office of the car dealership, and he was able to get out his gun and shoot the two uh, bounty hunters, and there were bullets going all over the place. I mean, and that's crazy. You go into a car dealership, you know, when there's people in there with their families buying cars and stuff like that. That's insane. Was he convicted, the guy that used the gun? Was he defending himself? Um, well, he was, I, he was, supposedly, yeah. Well, he was he was defending himself because these guys were coming after him. He I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the thing was, but they all died. He died. They died. Yeah, everybody died. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there were bullets flying all over the place. I don't know if other. I don't think that there were employees there. I think some people maybe got shot, 
but other people that you know were innocent bystanders i don't think actually died but they were in the middle of a shootout easily you know i think you have to think about these things that you're doing and you have to realize that you know in, in a case well, that like was a this. bad decision on the bounty hunter, man. Why are you going to rush somebody in the middle of a public area? You'd think you'd get him, you know, to drive through McDonald's or, you know, <laughs> going into his house or, you know, excuse me, sir, I, I, you know, can I get cheese with that? And all of a sudden you got 30 guys surrounding your car, ice picking your tires, or you can't go nowhere. That would be a little bit more common sense than bum rushing somebody in a public place knowing that somebody could get hurt. Yeah. I think the bounty hunters are liable, are li liable for that. Well, they're dead, so there's no making difference. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah, they both died. Yeah. So, I mean, hey. obviously, it's a different story with the police. What, what's up, Walter? How much, what I'm going to go back to some gun news here, and I'm okay, really yeah, upset. Yeah, uh -oh. You know why I'm really upset? No, this is no, no, no sex with animals or anything like that. Oh. It's, um, <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> this no, is not starting off on a good foot, Walter. No, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. That said, stuff's I, legal in Florida, isn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, Arkansas. Fine. Arkansas. This is, wait That's a second a, now. On Florida again. Ouch. <laughs> um, on, the, on the firearms blog, it says Malot to introduce multi caliber Vepper rifle with quick chains barrel system. Not anymore. Yeah, Vepers aren't. Uh, yeah, well, I don't understand. So they screwed yeah. us again. Just when it was going to get a cool AK with a quick change barrel, we can't get it. <laughs> it's like, oh man, come on, Holmes. Hey Hank. Yeah. Did you hear about the uh, the first female to be accepted in a Navy SEAL training? <laughs> Is this a joke? No, yeah. it's real. Okay, go ahead. Tell me about it. And her physical abilities, everything. She was accepted in the Navy SEAL training, and uh, I believe she lasted less than a week. Well, you know, there is a ranger. There's a couple of female rangers that made it yep. through the whole deal. Um, but yeah, she didn't. She didn't even last a week. She uh, she rang the bell. I think it was on the second or third day. Okay, well that that happens to a lot of guys too. So. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, this this pretty bad. You know, they were that. picking on her intentionally, dude. Yeah. They don't want yeah. something. I like think that. I think there probably are women that you know. Listen, there's some badass know, women out there. Yeah, you know? Know. badass is one thing, sales another. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's a it's a tough thing. You know, I mean, basically they kill you. you yeah. Know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to be a seal, you got to die a couple times. <laughs> you know, they're going to kill you and bring you back to life. I don't know who the hell's volunteering for that, but definitely not this guy. I think they usually, um, in the uh, in part of the training thing for uh, escape and evasion and all that, they do the waterboard thing to people. Yeah, they do all kinds of shit to you, man. You know what it's like to be waterboarded. So, yeah. I, I mean, um, I, I could be wrong here. Someone, I mean, I, I didn't go through the training, but I, I think they literally drown you and then bring you back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. just people. because the U.S. doesn't believe in it doesn't mean that other governments use it. So they know if one of our soldiers is going to get captive, yeah. it may potentially a higher percentage rate that they're going to do everything they can do to get anything from you. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Did we lose? Is Ty uh, Tyvin? You still there? I don't know I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Just got quiet for a second. We had some dead yeah. air there for a second, so that's yeah. Funny. Just making Sorry. sure you're still there, my friend. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. Speaking, yeah. I went. To, I went. Speaking of 50 caliber ammo again, I went to the ammo depot, and they have not that it's my favorite ammo, but they have American Eagle for two, basically two thirty around, which is not bad. Um, is that the 50? Yeah, 50 BMG. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, um, I, I accidentally apologize. I got it for a dollar seventy five with my promo code. That's what it was. But it, yeah, it's uh, two twenty five or two twenty nine yeah. or something, isn't so it? So you came in okay. here getting everyone all riled up. I, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> everyone that's was right. going to that's get right. stacked up in fifty. <laughs> already had my, my but still, work. that's still a good price for it. Send buy low, messages. sell high. Buy low, sell high. Yeah, send all <laughs> your messages to the timing show. No, I'm just <laughs> hey. <laughs> Listen, it's all good. What, that's why you got to verify sometimes. Okay, we've been doing this for a while. Let's uh, let's wrap this up a little bit. Tyvin, okay. you have anything going on you want to share with the uh, folks here on our air? Yes. Uh, August 21st, I will be live from the game, gun range with the Safety Harbor 50 Ooh. Cal. Oh, sweet. So okay, very cool. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned. Follow me on uh, Twitter at, at the Tyvin Show. Okay. Happy dance. Cool. I happy post dance. everything first. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Make sure you link all of us or, or yeah. you know, send us messages so we can help promote that. Thank yeah. you, gentlemen. Yeah. And we 904 is nice meeting you guys. You nice too. Meeting you too, man. Okay. Right, take it easy. Very cool. And, uh, okay, so, uh, Walter, what you got going on? Well, 
like like Tyvin said, we got a rifle headed. I uh, got an upper headed his way, so he's gonna he's gonna put it through his paces. Yeah. Um, you know, usual stuff. Facebook, Instagram, playing with that. Um, sort of trying to stay a little cool in the shop, which is ha, a joke. Yeah. Um, Plus, you're but, uh, you're like developing you're developing stuff for high points now, right? Is that what it is? <laughs> you're, you're getting your high point obsession worked out. He's gonna have a threaded barrel, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I, I I figured out a this, way to do it. Actually, this is so. this is my gun that I have to show off today. <laughs> hey, that's fully automatic. You be careful. Yeah, and that's a high, that's, a, that's a high cyclic right there. I'm muzzling you guys with it. It's actually like a black. I actually got this from um, from Ace Hardware for thirty nine bucks. Okay. I got one, Hank, and I love it, dude. And I've had it for two years, and, and I haven't broke it yet. Is that yeah. bat is a battery for that kind of a common battery, or is it just? Um, for it's a lithium twenty volt. Minus one lithium one point five AH twenty yeah, volt max, and it was like thirty nine bucks on sale. In uh, <laughs> I'm a I'm a Bosch and I'm a Bosch guy. I like Bosch. Oh, yeah. oh. So. oh, well, excuse me. So, Hank, That's are we going to see you put that through the uh, the destruction test, the torque ah! test for that gun? Hey, we'll go Bosch against that. We're gonna do that. Look, this this against a high point. Let's put this it on. on it. No, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot a hole right through that thing. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna suppress the drill? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look, so what do you what do you what do? <laughs> that's what we need. We need a suppressor for that. Just wrap it up in foam. That's all I got. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. It's herring safe. It's herring safe. So what do you what do, what do you guys have going on, uh, Steve? Oh, we got all kinds of new videos coming out. Uh, binary trigger videos and safety harbor firearms installation videos and stuff on the hacienda. Uh, shooting at the hacienda. Sneaking uh, on the hacienda. Sneaking slave on. labor at the hacienda. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. Well, I wasn't there, so we didn't get we didn't you know get them doing as they well, got away the, with I it. I thought the whole deal was range improvement. Yeah, 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 but they got away with it today because I wasn't wow. there. I was running around. It so. rained up there. It rained up there too today, didn't? Plus, Lola yeah. wasn't there. If Lola was there, there would have been some oh, stuff going on. Hurt down there, but yeah, yeah. Right. we walked down there. We're messing with the steel. We're like, okay, we need a couple two by fours. We'll fix this four. We'll fix that. Yeah. Hank's like, we'll, no, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll get that done another day. Hey, I, I, yeah, so I encourage everyone to go out there and subscribe to 904 Outdoors. They're really good guys. And obviously, yeah. they've got some stuff going on. You can also subscribe to the Tyvin Show. Yeah, Thanks, that's your, guys. That's your YouTube channel, as well as uh, what's now. Obviously, Safety Harbor has Safety Harbor Firearms on YouTube. But then, what's your other thing, Walter? Mower death. Mower death. Mower death. Yes, mower yeah. death is my uh, pre pre Safety Harbor Firearms YouTube channel where we shot everything that had a motor engine, you know, lawn mowers, weed whackers. It's uh, Talking parrots, stuff like yeah. that. I need to do yeah. some more of that. So yeah, as well as uh, don't forget stemparts.com. Yep, yep. Ooh, stemparts. Stemparts.com. If you want to keep an eye out, the Safety Harbor Firearms and the Sten Parts websites are both going to get a rejuvenation coming up here pretty yeah. quick. So. Now I want to let everyone know tomorrow I've got Tactical Toolbox. He's going to be on the show. Tactical, right? toolbox. tactical yeah, tactical, tactical Ooh, awesome. toolbox. He's going to be on the show tomorrow, so that's going to be cool. And I just want to remind folks, because I see some people asking some questions. So this primary arms 22 LR ACSS reticle that we have here, um, we've, we've got a video coming up with this, but but uh, primary arms actually gave us a code that if you use this code, it's in the description of this video. You get you get this you get this with uh, free shipping plus amount. So that's in the, the description. Is that, that ordering is directly from Primary Arms? Yes, it's directly from Primary Arms. Okay. So and that comes with a mount? Yeah, they will if you order it through the link that I have in the description of this video, you will get free shipping and you will get a mount. If you do it through the link, that's like the that's the deal I worked out with them so I can give back something to the folks. Okay. Awesome. So, you know, Primary Arms already has good prices and all that kind of stuff. This has like a three year warranty. It's uh you know, it's fog resistant, purged. fully multi coated. What nitrogen was it? purged. Yes, nitrogen purged, all that kind of good stuff. It's it's a really good optic. We've used it. So, you know, if you guys want to get that, just check out the link. Um, I want to thank everyone that's been watching here. You know, everyone made all the comments. Thanks, thanks for, like, Lola. We love YouTube in the background. Yeah, every okay, <laughs> Lola. Shout out to Lola and all the yeah. love that Lola's getting. Um, you know, even though she stole my car today and she was driving my car around. Excellent. Did she wash it? Put gas in it? Did you, did you wash it and put gas in there? No, it was raining. It was raining. So I didn't have to wash it. So and gonna... I didn't put gas in it because he didn't put gas he didn't put gas in it for me. 
It wasn't gas <laughs> I was gonna, stop. I was going to put gas in there when I'm driving it. Throw, yeah. throw him over the bus. Throw him up. Run him over. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> since he got that damn ram, he doesn't know her anymore. So no, I no. gave her some TLC oh, today. Sasha Gray. I was going to drive Sasha Gray today. Oh, yeah, right. I'll drive the Gray. That was my plan to drive her to drive you, Sasha Your new Gray. truck's a 4 by 4 too, isn't it? Yep. Yep. It's 4 before. That's how you got to say it. 4 by 4 4 Yeah, it's 4 before. 4 by 4 before. Yeah, and it's a Hemi. So, um, yeah, I want to thank everyone. That means you just get, that means you just get stuck faster. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's pretty. It's pretty nice, Walter. I'm gonna. I'll take you for a spin. Oh yeah, we'll have to try you it out. Yeah, come over. I'll take you for a spin. So I want to thank everyone for watching, for commenting, all that kind of stuff. Don't forget to share this. We're on iTunes, so if you want to listen to us when you're in the car, we're on iTunes. You can go download our stuff there. Make sure you give us five stars. You can also get out. You can also get the the uh, podcast from Podbean as well. I want to thank everyone that sponsors us. That would be Safety Harbor Firearms, Rand CLP, Andrews Customs, and of course, Big Daddy Guns, which I don't own. Big <laughs> Daddy Guns. I hope, I hope Big Daddy's going to leave me. Yeah, I hope Big Daddy leaves me in his will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please, Big Daddy, leave me in the will. <laughs> BigDaddyGuns.com. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we want to thank Big Daddy Guns, and um, you know, and of course, we want to thank everyone that sponsors us, looks out for us on Patreon. We are Patreon slash Hank Strange, and it is, you know, it's it's very needed nowadays, man, because you know, YouTube is just doing more and more stuff to stealth block all the YouTube channels that they don't agree with and that, yeah. you know. Oh yeah. So we're we're one of those. We're going through all that stuff. So thanks to everyone out there for the support. All right. It's Hank Strange. Peace. 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 Ha, ha, ha.